looks like Elegu came through. The new cable. I wasn't expecting this either. And besides the cable, they also gave me a new head. <laughs> a whole new print head. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I didn't need a new print head, but I'll guess I'll take a new print head. Maybe they should stick some 0.6 millimeter nozzles in there while they're at it. But all right, let's put it together. All right, let's start with the cable first. I've already unclipped it, and I'm gonna flip the machine over so we can get underneath on the bottom side. Well, great. We're gonna have a lot of screws to take off, and don't have an electric screwdriver for that. It's an Allen wrench, printables, Allen wrench holder. Let's put it to use. I'll be back if we get all these screws off. Okay, let's be surprised together. What do we got behind the plate? I know there's a fan on here, so you gotta be careful. Yeah. That's what we got. Alright, fan is disconnected. We're going in. There's our motherboard here. Replacing all of these wonderful glued up wires. Oh, I hate glue. A 400 watt power supply. Everything looks decent in here other than all the glue tons and tons of glue but this is going to be fun switching out these uh, <sighs> this ribbon wire let's get at it don't get intimidated it's not as bad as you think it is it's just a lot more cables cable management fun times new cable old cable let's get the old cable out of here just unclipping the zip ties that hold it in place. As you see, make sure the printer's unplugged. And it's gonna go all the way under. I'm not worried about that. We'll do that at the end to run it through. But all these have to come undone. <sighs> not fun, but fun. Hold on one second. Let me get this all untangled. We're gonna do the old fashioned method just to make sure that we do it the right way. We're gonna take and do an exchange one for one on the cables, since we're gonna to have to do more cable management in here anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on my left side here. I'm gonna have to get rid of this glue. There's never a good way to get rid of the glue. It's always tricky. Uh, I try to wiggle them out. Sometimes you do get the actual uh, coupling to come with it. And then you just take it out and put it back. But, um, I'm not going to show you what I do because I don't want you to repeat it and mess up and go like, Why the heck did he do that? So, I'm just going to get rid of all this glue real quick. And we'll be right back. Okay, we got the glue off. My glue is my glue. Your glue is your glue. You do whatever you got to do to get your glue, glue off. So, once you've got the glue off, then you can actually see what you need to remove. So I'm going to do a one for one, which is normally the easiest way. You just replace one wire for one wire when you're just doing a replacement. So that way you can just replace the exact same ones. You know you're not missing anything. And by the time you're done, you should be able to pull off the old one. And then the new one should be installed. And then you just got to route the wires. Like I said, never get intimidated. Because normally what happens is you'll have a simple... Oh, AC. For our wire, let's find our AC. Oh, there's an AC. So you remove this AC and replace it for this AC. That's a one for one. AC wire installed from the new one. Removed from the old one. What are we going to next? The new LED goes in from the wire. So now we have two of our wires Connected from our cable. And again, you just go one by one by one by one. Plug in the new PS wire to here. One wire fan two goes into this one here. Or other two wire fan two goes here. Ignore this one right now. Because you want to find the other one from the spare one and replace it with here. See? They match. Fan one replaces fan one. Thermistor to thermistor. Exchange the extruder for the extruder. Then exchange out your x-axis. So with all that done, all we have to do is juice it 
we're going to pull out our power cord here by unscrewing here and here with a flathead screwdriver to loosen these. Be right back. So before I pull these two out, I want you to notice something. Notice there's a white wire going down one of them and just black wires on the other one. That's going to be your positive and negatives. So if we look underneath here, your... Oh, come on. Come on. Positive, negative. Your negative is going to be your white wire. Your positive is going to be your black when you replace it on the new cable, and that's it. There's the old cable unplugged. Now when I install these, I wanna make sure that the white one goes in the negative, and the all black one goes in the positive slot underneath. One second. And we're putting them back under heating element zero. Heating element zero. As you see, I have the white to the negative side. Positive is still open for the positive to go in. And with those last hooked up, yeah, that's just black on black, first black and white. So with that, the new ribbon cable is fully installed. Now we gotta do some cable management and wrap it back around and remove the old cable off of the top side of the machine. So we got her laid on her side, so I'm gonna have to put her back upright and we're gonna remove the old cable, run the new cable around, but before we close it up, I wanna make sure everything works. So let's put it back up top, remove the old cable, and run the new cable real quick. I got it back up right, pulled the other cable from underneath. New cable's right here. So here's the old cable that we have to unwire from up top here. And obviously it's just simply unplugging some plugs. Like so. Oh, I gotta unscrew this, hold on. And like that. She's gone. Here's some of the original crimping in the wire that caused us to have to do this replacement in the first place. It's okay. It's done. Let's wire it back together. We're going to plug it in without the clip first because I want to make sure that everything works. Cable's in. All right, let's turn it on. Giving it the beans. Got lights. Oh, shoot. We were supposed to change the head, too. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Double check. Make sure we got movement. Let's home everything. Hmm. I got a fan. Yeah, we're getting stuff done. Yeah, we've got movement on the head. Oh, shoot. That's right. I need to... Plug in the aux fan. There it goes. Just took a little bit of force. I mean, they did uh, send me a brand new head. Bad aggro, we'll install it. Switching the head's real easy. We're gonna take out these three screws off the big fan. The fan will come off. There'll be these two screws, one on the bottom. These two screws and that one screw hold the whole head on. When you do that, the head will pop off and we'll switch the head. Let's do this real quick. Head off, it exposes the three screws. One, two, three. Those hold your head on. And two of them hold on this little metal bracket here for the ribbon chain. Let's take that off and I'll show you how quick the head pops on. Oh yeah, and the two front screws have to come off too. There we go. And the head is officially off. There's the old head. There wasn't anything wrong with. <laughs> But, um, I'll see if they want it back. If not, I got a spare head. We'll see. Here's the brand new head. Never been used. So, I'm going to put that in. Two little nubbies. Nubbies match nubbies. And the screws line up. Like so. And then I put one screw there, one screw there, and then screw in the back to, to the plate. One sec. Now, screw in the one screw under there, and then put this plate back in here with these two screws. Which is, again, I can't do this one-handed. Hold on. And once you got all three of the screws in, just put on the back fan with the three screws back into the gantry. Now everything's good. We're going to put everything back together. And this rat's nest here, we're going to make pretty with some cable ties. You can do whatever you want. Just kind of keep them out of the way so they're not touching on everything. It won't cause any shorts. 
We'll be back. Good enough. Everything's out the way. Nothing's touching. Shouldn't have any shorts. Putting the base back on. All right, she's all back together. We're going to turn her on and do some calibrations. You know how to do that. Then we'll see how it prints. Well, I'm not going to get too excited yet. It looks good. First layer so far. After the ribbon wire and the head change. Let's see till the end. Well, I guess it's... Um... I guess it's fixed. Yay! That's the brim. There you go, everybody. That's the brim. Ah. Yeah. I think it's fixed. Thanks, Elego. Now we can put some bigger prints on, finally.